Kyle Musgrove opens a new training spot for San Diego athletes. Yeah, Fox 5's Heather Lake gives us a look at symbiotic training. Well, a lot of work happens in the off season and right here at Symbiotic Training Center, you're going to meet Joe Musgrove because as they get ready for spring training, Joe, this is your place. This is yeah. your new home when you're not at Petco Park. We've got a lot of professional athletes behind us, but for people who don't even know what this space is, can you kind of give us a lay of the land? Yeah, so, you know, the idea was to create um, kind of an all-inclusive um, training facility that ties in a lot of things that we use on the professional side on a daily basis from our training floor here, our cardio stuff. We have two PTs. We have hot and cold tubs in this room. We have a full recovery room with Normatec pumps and red light therapy, um, acupuncturists. I mean, we have just about everything you could ask for in, uh, in terms of getting your body ready for a season. So we tried to allow that or uh, provide that for guys to be able to come in, high school kids, middle school kids, getting them introduced to some of the things that we do on a daily basis. What are we seeing here? Do we have any new Padres that we yeah, should be keeping our eyes open for? Um, Glenn Otto's back in the corner over there. He came over from Texas, uh, but he's new to the Padres. He'll be with our big league club this year. Uh, Timmy Hill, who's a San Diego favorite, who's with the White Sox now. He's been training with us for the last few years. And then a, lot, a couple of these other guys are uh, right on the fringe of AAA big league time. So yeah, we, we won't judge Timmy for leaving us, right, you know, right, right. but it's cool. Is this this is a dream come true for you to have a space like this. It's so important for the off season to be ready for the actual season when you guys leave for spring training. I mean, you've been through so much injury wise. How's the toe doing, by the yeah. way? Are you working out barefoot after the toe? I'm still going barefoot. Yeah, I mean, I got we're looking at those those yeah, toes, the pedicure on cue. Got to blur these out, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I the, the benefits and the things that it provides me working out barefoot, you know, really outweigh the the few risks that there are. Okay. Obviously, something like that happens. It's easy to look at it and say you got to put shoes on, but um, you know, I've trained like this for eight nine years now, and um, you know, it keeps me healthier, it keeps my feet strong, keeps my stability where it needs to be. So. I just got to be maybe a little more careful uh, with some of the things I'm doing, but it's something I've done for a long time, so I don't see myself changing it too much. Let's talk about pitching. So are the people mostly here today, are, are most of them pitchers, and are they doing things that in the off season are definitely going to help them up their game when it comes yeah. to, to the big leagues? Yeah, so you walk in here, and like typically you would see guys squatting, benching, doing you know basic lifts that everybody would see at LA Fitness or 24-hour, but um, we really focus on functional movement here. So. A lot of the movements that you'll see guys doing are movements that you'll see on a baseball field, whether it's rotational presses, whether it's coiling movements, um, deceleration patterns. Um, you know, we try to mix in a lot more of the movements that you're going to get on a field so that when your body's in or when you're in the, the act of making a play or making a backhand and just letting your body do what it wants to do, your body's used to being in those positions. So. Um, there's could've a lot of different aspects to it, but yeah. It helped me out, you know, I'm back not, in, back in August. You had, a good, you had a good base, so we got somewhere to work from. I got to throw out the first pitch. We'll see some video of it really quick and pull that up so everyone can, can yeah. see. But you said not, not so bad. What could I have done to maybe make it go a little bit further? You got to come work out a symbiotic. We'll get <laughs> you right. Yeah. Do, you, do you let the average Joe, not the Joe Musgroves, but the average Joe like myself, do they ever get a chance to come out in yeah, here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, during the off season, it's it's geared towards getting the pros ready. So from about 7 a.m. until 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock is all pro athletes. We have two or three windows, uh, 7.30, 9.30, 11.30. And guys will come in and get their work done in a private setting where they can have a little more one-on-one -on -one time with Jono. And then uh, from 2 o'clock on, it's all kid groups. So every hour and a half to two hours, there's a new wave of kids coming in from about 10 years old all the way up to a college athlete. So ideally we want people to see what we're doing here and then entice them to come out during, you know, their off season or their spring season and get in here and get some of the work that we're getting done. Yeah, San Diego's ready for some good baseball. Are you yes. ready to deliver it? Yeah, we're excited. I mean, this off season has been one of our better off seasons. Um, one, because we got the facility and the space. I've worked with Jono for nine, 10 years now and we've worked in very small spaces. We've worked outside when we didn't have a gym and to be able to have a facility like this, it's, uh, it's still kind of a, a shock to us, but we're making the most of it and we're you know, hopefully helping out a lot of athletes here. Well, Padres fans are looking forward to it, Joe. Thank you so much. Yeah, you, you guys, we're putting more information for this training center. Maybe you want to throw out a first pitch or just get in really good shape. Go to fox5sandiego.com. Click on that scene on tab. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio for now. The Fox 5 Morning Surf Report is presented by Jerome's Furniture. Delivering comfort and value to San Diego for 70 years and counting. Oh, thanks, Heather. <laughs> Great report. <laughs> All right, we can't wait to see the boys back in action, right? Are you going down to spring training? I was thinking about going and checking it out myself, bringing out the kiddos. We love our Padres and uh, Joe Musgrove in San Diego. So great. Let's talk about the weather. 